All right, uh, for today's lesson, you're going to need page 27. Page 27 out of your packet there. So starting off today, we see our topic has to do with triangles. Um, we're still also dealing with angles, but more specifically, missing measures in triangles. Okay, now the basics we need to know is that for every triangle, you know, it has three angles. And those three angles equal 180 degrees. Okay, so that's important right there. So every triangle has got to add up to 180 degrees. So if we look at number seven here, on number seven, we see we're given this triangle here, and it's got two angle measurements. It's got this one and this one, but this one it says X, so that's our unknown. Okay, so there's a, a really easy uh, equation we can set up. We can take this one, X, add it with this one, 45, add it with this one, 35, and we know that equals 180 degrees. So if I start simplifying that, combine my like terms, 45 and 35 um, gives you 80. So that's X plus 80 equals 180. And then we'd subtract 80 to both sides, cancels. So X is going to be 100 degrees. So put that down there. Don't forget to put your little label on there. And 100 degrees is your answer. Okay, moving on to number eight. We see... Uh, We've got 57 here, we got X here. We don't have a number here, but we know that this box means 90 degrees for a right angle. So my equation would be X plus 90 plus 57 equals 180. So combine like terms, you get X plus 90 plus 57 is gonna give you 147 equals 180. Subtract 147 to both sides. This cancels and we get X is equal to um, 33 degrees. So 33 degrees, there you go, there's your answer. Okay, number nine. So for number nine, um, now we have S, S, 30. Well, it's still a triangle. So I know all of these added together have to be equal to 180 still. So I'm going to take this first, S. I'm going to add it with the second, S. Add it with the angle we're given, 30. And that still equals 180 degrees. Okay, so then I combine like terms. So S and S is 2S. So I have 2S plus 30 equals 180. So I would subtract 30 to both sides. That cancels. And I get 2S is equal to 150. Um, divide by 2, because you want to know what 1S is. And we get S is equal to 75 degrees. Okay, number 10. So number 10, you notice this time they want to find out what X is. However, X is on the outside of this triangle right here. Okay, so we got to use our knowledge of triangles plus our knowledge of angles. And if you see what's going on here, this angle and then this angle over here, they come together and form a straight line. It makes a straight angle which means they're supplementary. So this and this is, is going to add up to 180 degrees. Okay, that's going to help us figure out what this is. Now, if I want to figure out what this missing measure is, you know, we could just figure out, well, I got 48, 24. Um, they're using X here, so let's use a different letter. Let's say M. Okay, so I'm going to say M plus 48 plus 24 equals 180. So combine your like terms. So I get M 48 plus 24 is 72 equals 180. Subtract 72. That cancels. Um, so I get M 
is equal to 108 degrees. So that means I can fill this in right here with 108 degrees. Now that's not my answer because I need to know that this X plus 108 equals 180. So if I just take 180, subtract 108 for here, and uh, that's going to equal 72. So 72 degrees is what X is going to be equal to. Okay, moving on to number 11. In number 11, we see we have three different things to solve for. So this one's a little bit bigger. Um, so here's what you can start with. Just It's kind of like a puzzle. Like, how can I approach this one? And here I see I have a straight angle. Um, they give me one measure right here, which means if I know this one, I can be able to figure out this one over here because I know these two have to add up to 180. So if I say 180, subtract 121, that's going to equal what X is there. So that's going to be uh, 59 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to fill in 59 degrees right there. And then I'm going to come down here and say 59 degrees. Okay, then we look at Y. Well, we have a larger triangle, but it's broken up into two smaller triangles. So this triangle right here that I'm putting a little lines on, you know, that's still equal to 180 degrees. And you're given two of the measures right here. So I also have this last one there that I'm trying to find out why. So I say Y plus 59 from the one we just solved plus 64 for this angle right here equals 180. <coughs> okay, combine like terms. So we get Y, uh, 59 plus 64. Let's see, that's 119, 123. So plus 123 equals 180. And then we're going to subtract 123. Uh, that cancels out. So y is going to be equal to 57 degrees. Okay, now I can actually test these all because I can add 59 plus 57 uh, right here plus 64, and that should equal 180, just to double check if I'm right. I'm going to go ahead and fill that in right there so I know y is 57 degrees. So the last one I need to find here is this w. And... I have two of the measures. I have this one up here, and I know this one is a right angle for the larger triangle, which leaves me just this last piece right here. And that's all I need. Okay, so I'm going to say W plus 57 for the one we just solved, plus this angle here I know is 90 degrees equals 180. So W. 57 plus 90 is 147 equals 180. <clears throat> okay, subtract 40, 147, cancels, and we get W is equal to 33 degrees. Okay, number 12. So on number 12 now, uh, we got to find these two different uh, measures here. So I'm given one angle here. I can't find these other two using just triangle, but I know that these this right here forms a supplementary angles. Um, it's a straight angle, so I know these two have to add up to 180. So 180 subtract the 64 uh, is going to give you what E is equal to. Um, in this case, it's going to be 116 degrees. So E is going to be 116 degrees. Fill that in right there. And then F, um, I already got two of my measures. That's all I need. So I can make my equation now. So I can say F plus 21 plus 116 equals 180. Combine like terms, F and then plus 137 equals 180. So subtract 137, and we get F is equal to 43. So 43 degrees will be my answer for letter F. 
Okay, let's go ahead and um, solve a problem here. So I'm going to draw a triangle. And we'll call this M. And this one is 43. This one is 75. You tell me what M equals. Okay, let's do another one. So let's say that this is 36 degrees, and then this is P, and this is P. Um, you guys go ahead and figure out what P is equal to. Okay, let's turn the page. Okay, so it's definitely getting more complicated here. We see on the back side we got uh, five different angles we got to solve for in this one. Okay, so there's different ways you can approach this one. Um, you could either start solving for Q because I know that these two are 180. Um, I look down here, I can solve for R because I notice this relationship right here is vertical angles. So let's say I do that one first. Okay, so because it's a vertical angle, that means R has to be 95 degrees. So I'm going to fill that in, 95 degrees. Okay. Now, I know that S and 95 this way or S and 95 that way is also supplementary. So 180, take away 95, is going to give you 85. Okay, so if S is 85 degrees, um, I also know that S and T are vertical. So those two are vertical, which means they have to be equal to the same thing. So that's also 85 degrees. Okay, moving along, um, if I want to solve for Q, I know that Q and 154, all this comes together and makes a straight angle, which is 180. Okay, subtract the 154, and I know that's going to be 26. So Q is going to be 26 degrees. And then last, if I want to solve for P, I already have two of the angle measures. I got this one and this one. So my equation can be P plus 95 plus 26 equals 180. So we combine like terms, um, 95 plus 26, um, so that's going to be 121 equals 180. Okay, if I subtract 121 to both sides, that cancels. So P is going to be equal to 59 degrees. Okay, you guys go ahead and try to figure out number 14. Okay, moving on to 15. Now, 15, notice we got some additional directions up here. So it says given, and this is important. It's telling you like, this is a fact. It's saying line P is parallel with line Q. And if line P is parallel with line Q, then we have this whole transversal that comes in, which we learned about last week. Okay, so this transversal comes in and splits all these angles up, and we have all these different relationships that form, you know, like corresponding, same side exterior, etc. Okay, so that's what I need to know to help me solve some of this. All right, so again, there's different ways you can approach this. Um, if I look at, I want to find angle one first, let's say. I know that this angle plus this angle plus this angle all come together and form a straight line. So they all have to add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so I know I'm given 45 plus, and let's say one we just call X because we don't know, plus X plus 67 equals 180. So you combine like terms and I get X plus, so 45 and 67, so that's 105, 112 equals 180. Subtract 112. Okay, and we get X is equal to um, 68 degrees. 
So I'll fill that one in, 68 degrees. Okay, moving on. Um, I know that angle 2 forms a supplementary angle with the 67. So 180, take away 67. That's going to give me what angle 2 measures. Okay, if I subtract those, um, it's going to be 113. So angle 2 is 113 degrees. Okay, um, and again, it really doesn't matter how you go about solving this. There's different methods, different, you can find different relationships. So I'm looking at angle 5, perhaps. I know angle 5 is a corresponding angle with 67. So because of that, those two are equal to each other. Okay, so I go say angle 5 is 67 degrees. Um, let's say I want to solve for 3. So I know that um, there's different ways. You can either do supplementary or I can see I got this relationship right here. So I have alternate interior. Okay, I'm looking at it that way because alternate interior means I don't really have to do any math at all. I just look at it. I know the relationship. And I know that angle 5 and angle 3 are equal to each other because they're alternate interior. Okay, and then I move on. Let's say um, I go to angle 4. Well, different ways you can do this one. You can say angle 4 and 5 are supplementary because they're straight angles. Also, we have uh, angle 3 and angle 4 are supplementary because they're same side interior. So same side interior means they have to add up to 180. And again, subtract 67 for this one. And that's going to tell you what angle 4 is. So that's 113 degrees. Okay, um, angle 7, I know there's a vertical angle of 5, so that's the same. And then last, 4 and 6 are vertical, so that means 6 also has to be 113 degrees. All right, last one, number 16. It says, given line S is parallel with line T. Um, it wants you to go ahead and fill out all these angles, so go ahead. 